okay, that you're not allowed to do that because oh oh no no don't it's okay okay see. Ah, Asvitel, Asvitel, what is that? Palinia, Palinia, what are you doing? 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 Very good. So now, says the Magen Abraham, why Shulchan Abu said you're not allowed to go like this on the Shabbat with your leg and smear the speed because of the laws of building? 384. He should have said the restriction is because the laws of smearing. <laughs> says Magen Abraham, you know why Shulchan Abu did not say smearing? I said only the laws of building. Because the speed gets absorbed in the ground. No speed. So we learned from here that the laws of smearing only applies when something is staying a layer not absorbed. and does not get absorbed. But if it's a, a cream that you put that will get absorbed, the laws of smearing does not apply. Rudy, is this clear? That's on Shabbat, a person is allowed to take cream and smear it on Shabbat. Allowed. As long as that cream is going to get absorbed in the skin. The other one, I'm not sure if it gets absorbed in the skin. If you, I think the layer stays purposely on top of the skin. If you're rubbing in I'm not sure, you have to find out reality. I don't, I don't, know. I don't use it. If you rub I'll tell you what, what person could use. You have a um, uh, baking soda. Finito la comedia. 24 hours, more than 24 hours is last. 48 hours is last. Try it. Somebody told me this, I didn't believe him. I said, try it. Sure. It says it's the healthiest thing, cheapest thing, and lasts the longest. Baking soda. And you can use it on Shabbat, Kippur, Oshana, Yom Tov. Soda? Baking soda. Baking soda. Baking soda. Yeah, Baking soda. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 when you buy it, there is one that has uh, aluminum free baking soda. It says aluminum free. All the iron that you put is full of aluminum. It goes into your blood cells, the blood stream, and it goes to the brain. It makes Alzheimer's. You should know that. It's not a joke. This is a serious thing. And they don't last so long. The Thing. And on Shabbat, you have a question to put them. Uh, this one is cheaper, cleaner, lasts longer, and Shabbat, no problem, because it's powder. Any person I told them to do that, bless me after. Uh -huh. They enjoyed it. <laughs> Baking soda, Bechot. Pat Mishka. Instead of, instead of making soda. deodorant. <laughs> Because you go to the store, you tell the guy, give me powder like the color of your head. <laughs> Baking soda. Go ahead. Baking soda. I need baking soda. You take it, boom. Boom. You have no issues of smell. Tamo, John, hello. First time I hear that. Don't believe me. Try it. I'm Yeah. No, it's not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Последний раз ему дадим шанс. Ба, ну. Барух, ата Адонай, Элоэну Мелеха Олам, Шахакол, Ния Бидваро. It says Yoshua Binun, before the class used to begin, used to come earlier than the teacher, used to prepare the books, used to prepare the chairs, 
used to prepare the chai, used to prepare the water, and like this, when the teachers and the students come, everything was already prepared and started right away. And that's how he became Bechol. Hashem gave him blessing. He, he wasn't the smartest guy. There were people that were smarter than him. But Hashem blessed him that he will continue Moshe Rabbeinu. You understand this? Because he worried about preparing the class. Hamish Joba Joshua. So the students on the rabbi will come, everything will be ready to go. I mean, Rudy, you have the remote over there. This is the remote for the door. The black one. Yes? I mean, what did I tell you? What else I told you? What else I told you besides Daka? What else I told you? And all. Oh, I mean. You have to say that, Bechor. You hear me or no? Yes. Okay, next. What page? Uh, 3484, number 2. What is. What is. What is. What is the definition of smearing? Only when if one. If you. Rub it to it. Rub it and rub it and rub it. It's absurd. To the point it gets absurd. Got it? That's what to smear cream on Shabbat. No problem if it gets absorbed. Fully absorbed. The Chor Pamidim. To smear cream on Shabbat. Mutar. No problem. You cannot put a little bit one, two like this, no. You have to go and smear and smear until it goes inside. If you made the one time, two time, and it, and it st stays on top of the, cre of the hand, you made violation on Shabbat. You broke Shabbat. Also you have to go you have to rub, rub, rub. It's called building. Some people right now go on Shabbat to the park. They want to put sunscreen to their children. Mm. You could do that. Yeah, you said it's malotov. Chabad spray, Rabbi. It's good, but you have to do it the right way. Chabad spray. Spray, no, no question. If you're doing a cream, you have to smear it, smear it, smear it, smear it to the point it goes inside. Some of them are very thick. They don't go inside. So what do you do? In this case, dab it. Don't smear, dab. What's the idea? You didn't even out. The whole problem is when you're evening, evening out. Are you didn't even uh, even out? Next. Next. So Read. You have to smear it, smear it, smear it. If you want to put it, the cream of diamond, smear it, smear it to the end. If you don't want to smear it, dab it. And no, no bio healing? Why, 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 why? Yesterday somebody sent me a video. It doesn't open, doesn't open, tells me to download something. As I download, I see Sam Haimo. Yesterday I saw you on my phone. I said, when I'm going to see Sam Haimo and his brother? Why, why, why? And look who comes to the yesterday. So Eitan Shehayanu Khaimanu Megianu. Welcome to us. Let's go. Number two, read. Kikhiro. Police is here, be careful. <laughs> what is the halachi definition of smearing? Number two? Yeah. What is the halachi definition of smearing? Only when one's intention is to leave a layer of the substance on the surface, this counts halakhically as smearing, such as to cap a hole in the barrel. Yeah, cap got it? A hole in the barrel. <coughs> you want a cap, you have a leaking, leaking hole. Oh, not clear? No. Cap a hole. When you have a hole and you have the, in the barrel, Eitan, you're sitting in the way, I can't see you. Hey, Joe Moko, we just said this. So, okay, on the first half. Yeah, I know that. 
So a person has a leaking barrel, right? They give me give me the barrel. Okay, here. You have a yeah, and it's like a tick, tick, tick. Okay, okay. Behold, what should be done? Oh. During the week, back in the day, people used to take smala club wax. It used to hold, patch up the hole. Uh. So that's called smearing because so what is your cap, bro, not cap. Not okay, cap, okay. Because uh, cap is usually something like patch up a hole, okay? So the top goes usually. Uh, with cap, no? Can you give me that black computer you know what cap is. I'll tap in the corrections we right away. Yeah, I, I understand. No, I didn't do this. It's the translator. Said uh, it. I'll, I'll do it. So then smearing applies. No, no, the, the silver one. So, so. You know, you know what? Amechila, Amechila, give, give me this because he opened the file on this one. You were doing it this last no. night Yeah, yeah. You're right. This is the other guy's computer. But he's on this file. I'm on a different file. <laughs> what can we do? Am Israel needs Rabotai. A lot of things to do. Today there was a case at Bedin, Bechor. $1.4 million. Kalabakala. <laughs> the guy made the renovations and caused the Balabite more damage than good. More damage than good. Hamish Chapaka, I mean, my Yeah. He said, not the, all the money I gave him. I had to redo everything and pay more money on top. Why? He, he did everything balagan the guy said. One point four million dollar loss. Are you allowed to oh, say what? who the construction guy is? No, of course not. Why not? That's his claim. Let's prove it. He didn't finish. It. If after the claim, can you say it? Can you say that? If can there is an, it's not in this uh, from in Queens. It's not. It's not working here. So it's not okay. It's it's not prevent, uh, pretending to people here. So why should I dirty his name for? I know his name, but why should I dirty his name for? If he was here, would you allow to say it? Then? Yeah, if uh, if it pertains. Pertains, sure. Yeah, like you're trying to make a construction. Well, he asked him, Rabbi, do you know anything about this guy? I have a mitzvah to let you know. Yes, I know, this guy is so-and-so. He had issues so-and-so. That doesn't mean that he's a bad guy. That's what he said, that he's a bad guy. Let's prove right now. It's a very long case. This problem, that problem, this issue, this issue. Woo! Two hours, we didn't finish it with him. So why am I telling you these things? Because God forbid, if these situations happen, you should know that there is an address for these mistakes. That you should not say, oh, can't do anything. The world is full of injustice. And Tzedek Ba'ola should not say this thing. You have issue, you have an address. I don't know, what is this thing that's going on? Your issues. I don't know why it's going on with the, the chats and everything about the get for that girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Seven years, no, Pajor? Yeah, but it's not to do with the bedding. A husband tortures his wife. What bedding could do? <laughs> husband tortures? Tortures his wife. Money what bedding get. can do? Mooch. Mooch. He wants money for the get. <laughs> a lot of money. No. He says he, he owes a money. There is a disagreement between the two. They have to settle the disagreement. It's nothing to do with us. This computer, uh, for some reason, doesn't react. Okay, continue. What can we do? It's not in our hand. This is mine, right? No, no. Continue. Three. Number three. Is one allowed to smear fat on Shabbat? Oh. Sulimano, what is that? Ah, did we read, did we read that one all the all the way? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we cannot patch the barrel. Right. So when out. smearing applies on Shabbat, whenever your intention is for that layer to stay. But if your intention for that layer to go inside, and it goes inside, you have no problem. Understood? Yeah. About that, this applies a lot on Shabbat. With kids, with women, different type of things. Can she, a woman asks, Rabbi, I want to put, she, I don't know how you call it, something to put before the makeup. 
I don't know how you call this. Something. Shpakilevka. She wants to put that. <laughs> she said, Rabbi, <laughs> <Shpakilevka>. <laughs> Rabbi, I, she said, Rabbi, you, it's allowed to smear on Shabbat. You told hand cream it's allowed. Yonam, hand cream goes inside the skin. Ayosh Paklovka stays on top of the skin. Right, it's not allowed. Ay, 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 ay. Not comparable. What is it called? Uh, Okay, continue. А если вот эти фрукты есть же, фруктами может женщина себе красить губы на шаббат и все такое? Не помада, а фрукты, например, черешня, клубника, потом... What, purposely? Purposely? Purposely, it's assumed that banana. I don't know how long lasting is. How long it's gonna last, the whole. No, no. So continuing. So the third one, right? The yeah. Okay, <coughs> guys, you already forgot the question. Is one allowed to smear fat on Shabbat? So you said such is what? Not cap, the which word do you use? Patch. Patch. Yeah. Patch a hole? Yeah? Patch a hole? Yeah. P A T T H. Yeah. Such as to patch a hole in the barrel. Yeah. Patch a hole in the barrel or on the barrel? On the barrel. Mm -hmm. no? Such as patch a hole on the barrel or in the barrel? On, on, on. Because on. outside. If it's okay, in, you guys finish college, you know. We expect something. Continue. That's Number what, three. That's yeah. what could be derived from the words of uh, Kolbo. 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 Mm -hmm. Not Kolbe. Kolbo. <laughs> than the it's one of the is only a problem because of molad. No, nolad. Nolad means um, created. Something was created. created yeah. Wait. And he didn't write because of smearing. That's also how Rav Shlomo Zalman Auerbach and Yeah, it's hard. I, I, get it. I don't understand. It means that it's not elaborated. Words. What are you telling me? That's what could be derived from the words of the Kolbo. Right. First, what's Kolbo? Is Kolbo is one of the Mishonim. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that the restriction so of smearing I will, I will write. on the body well, is only one of the uh, one of the Mishonim I'll put right now because of no lot. Yeah, yeah, the body is only a problem because of the one of the we show nim. One of the we show nim. Yeah? Yeah. That so comes the call Bogabota and says like this. Listen to this first. So Suleiman listen to this. Was one of the rabbis, it doesn't matter his name. So you're gonna make jokes about it. One of the we show nim, one a rabbi, lived about a thousand years ago. Good. He says, you know, on Shabbat. You're not allowed to take fat and go like this. Back in the day, Rabotai, there is no cream, there is no anything. Go span, you take the thing. <laughs> that was life. <laughs> Whatever it is, Zapach, Mapach, that was not their concern. People didn't shower for weeks, so <laughs> Zapach was not an issue in their times. Smell the, the, smell. The, the, the problem was they needed to, the true. water, the water had a lot of things that used to break the, yeah, the skin. Yeah. How do you call this mineral? I forgot the word. Salts, whatever it is, used to dry the skin, it used to break. So how people used to maintain their, uh, to moisturize their skin? With fat. Rohani, yeah. Now says the, uh, one of the Rishonim, Kolbe, uh, Kolbo, sorry. I got confused already. And uh, he says, taking that smear on Shabbat and go like this, you're not allowed to. Why not, Beho? He says, because on Shabbat, you're not allowed to take something solid and liquefy it. Salaha. Oh, you said soft is a puzzle. All that has to do with Nolad. All that. That's that's Nolad means. Nolad means created. So created, yeah. Huh? Okay, so I'll explain it. If you if you a learned person don't know, I have to means I have to elaborate. It was it was just um thought and uh it doesn't it's say that. You would never know what restricted to change the form of matter. Yeah? The form of matter? Yeah. To change the form of matter. From rich people, what everybody used to be solid to rich people, liquid. So on Shabbat you're not allowed to take something solid and turn it into liquid. It's halakha, A person has ice. 
He wants to take ice. I remember one time when we came to Bet Gabriel, the AC didn't work. He be shara bechora hundred degrees. I remember I took ice, and I wanna keep my hands on it to cool off the body. Now, if this ice, you have ice, and you have meat, and you have ice, if you go holding it, it's gonna melt. Can you take that ice and play with it on Shabbat? No. So Halakha says you're not allowed to change on Shabbat from salad into liquid. Asu. Halakha. True, but you cannot do that. You cannot change the format of salad into liquid. Can you take grapes on Shabbat? Grapes. Can you squeeze grapes on Shabbat? Why not? You're taking salad, you're turning it into liquid. It's asu. No, limon is the only exception. Because limon is not drinkable as you put it right away for enjoy, enjoyment. Rather, you have to put water more and sugar more and make it drinkable. So that's why lemon is different, an exception. But ice, you take ice and you go like this, it's drinkable water. Grapes, you go like this, it's drinkable wine. Orange juice, you go like this, it's drinkable orange juice. So therefore, halakha on Shabbat, you cannot turn salad into liquid. This halakha, no point to argue on this. Not peace enough. Says the kolbe, kolbo, if a person is going to take right now fat on Shabbat, fat is salad in room temperature, and you're going to smear it on your skin, what are you going to turn the salad into? Into liquid. So says the this Rabbi, you're not allowed to do that. Says Rabbi, why didn't he say, you know why it's not allowed to? For another reason? Because of the lot of smearing. Like a cream. Must be that cream that by smearing he didn't turn solid into liquid. It was liquid and it remained uh, more liquid. It got absorbed in your skin. Therefore it's allowed. That's why this rabbi, this one of the Rishonim, the Kolbo, wrote that you know why not allowed to make the fat into, uh, use the fat as the hand cream? Because you're taking a solid thing and you turn it into liquid thing. That's the only issue. Now what about smearing? Smearing is not a problem. What about Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, butilka, no problem. The Gemara says, so the Gemara says, whenever the barrel of ice is going to start melting, that water is going to start melt. It gets right away mixed with the rest of the water inside the butilka. However, whenever you take out the ice, that ice, it's not sitting in a cup. The moment you're gonna melt, it's gonna right away uh, be visible. You took a solid, and here's the liquid. You took a solid, here's the liquid. So since it's visible to the naked eye, that's an issue. However, when it's in the cup, you put Coca-Cola, drink. You wanna put inside ice. It's no problem. Are you melting the ice? The ice is cooler you're than not, the Coke. You're not melting. So the, the ice is going to melt inside the Coca-Cola. You, you put the ice inside the Coca-Cola. It didn't go there by itself. So it says Halakha because the liquid that's gonna come out from the ice is gonna right away mix with your Coca Cola. <clears throat> it's not a problem because Sulaimano, it's not visible to the naked eye. Uh, so what about it? Gets right away mixed into the rest. What about Next. Sa- Got it? Hold on. There was one time a plumber came to my house. Sulaimano, a guy a plumber came to my house. Plumber. And there was an issue in the pipe in the backyard. I told him, you know, since we're already doing something else in the backyard, might as well fix this. You, the other time, told me there was a leak somewhere else in the house. You fixed it. So fix this. It says, the leak somewhere else in the house, It's the damage is visible. <laughs> it says, here, whatever comes out, go to the ground. Don't worry about it. Don't waste your money on it. <laughs> it's not visible. What about the... So the same thing is the ice. The bag, when the ice is leaking, you see the thing. This is visible damage. So that's what's not allowed. But whenever you put in the coke, that's not visible. Therefore, it is allowed. So Hold on, I was in line. What about Saturday, you're taking ice on the cup and you put it on the table. Yeah. Anybody who want ice will take it. It's, it's melted. Inside. You're yeah, not doing it with your hands. Yeah, it's it's the moment it gets leaked, it gets mixed with the rest, whatever you had there. Gets, it gets mixed again. Understand? 
that when you take the ice and you're going like this, your intentions right now intentions to to cool this thing down, uh, to, uh, to melt this thing down, to get that water and, and cool yourself off from the heat. That's an issue in halakha. So is so they are also not allowed to. Because the same thing, the same idea, you are holding it, melt, you start squeezing it. <laughs> no, no, look the difference. Look, the, You know what, let me is, make your life easier. Bring Masechet Shabbat in English. Go bring it behind you over there. Masechet Shabbat, yes, yes, yes. Go get an English, look quickly. Masechet Shabbat, page 51b. On top. First line. Okay, it's Masechet Shabbat, but I'm not even It's the same page. 51b. On top. Okay, but when you were saying, about, uh, when you were saying about, uh, it's the it's the fattest Gemara, the most fat, thick one. About the Mediterranean, you said it was too hot, and right. you took the ice. Oh, that's my question. If I would take the ice, it? allowed or no? Ah. We'll have a question. But if I took meat, uh, yeah, ah, meat is different. Frozen meat. Nah, it's different. Could I hold that frozen yes. meat or no? Yes. yes. Okay. Got it. Because it will be always solid. Right. It will always be solid. Shabbat Nieto? What can I do? Yes. 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 We'll make you famous. Come. Yeah. Inside the water. Yes. 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 Bagati? Bugatti? Somebody told me there's a car called Bugatti. You heard about the car? Bill Bill Johnny Halvez. Listen to this. Yeah, right? You're not allowed on Shabbat to take Shelig. What is Shelig? Show it a Shelig. No. What is Barad? Hail. Grad. Hail. Grad. Right. 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 נותנו לתוך הכוס, או לתוך הקערה, ואין, לא חושב. דידי. דידי, אני יודע איך להתמודד, רבותיי. אני חושב, אני יודע שאתה חושב, אבל כמה אחרים צריכים דוקומנטציה. אז עכשיו תקשיבו לזה. סולימן, תקשיבו לזה. מה אנחנו נלמד מכאן? זה שאתה אומר לי שאתה לא יכול לקחת את הפת. And smear it because the problem of solid into liquid. liquid. Uh -huh. That's the only problem. What about smearing? Smearing will not apply. Why not? Because anything that gets absorbed into the skin, the laws of smearing does not apply. Does not apply. Right away or not? The time is okay. I explained by smearing it more and more and more. No problem. Mm -hmm. Yes, you had a question? No, you had a question? Yeah. Ice cream, what about it? What do you want to do? Melt it, just take it. When you're eating, you're melting. You're licking. Licking it. So by you, because whenever you're licking, it's right the way goes away. It's not something, here is the salad, here is the liquid. It's right away gets absorbed. Yeah, it's by itself. It's not, it's not you doing something. It's not your intention. You're not holding it. The... How's it called? Arctic? Cone. 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 No, no. Arctic. Cone. The ice is a star. Ice. Ice. Ice is a tube. What about that? It's a lot of ice. Icicles. 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 When you're holding icicle and you're licking on it, the heat outside melts it. Yeah. And you're not doing anything. The, the drop that come out. Got it? 
Very good. Next. That is how also how Rav Shlomo Zalman Oyerbach and the Chazoinish <coughs> hold. <coughs> Number four. Uh, 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 when you do the drink, right? So what does it say? Drink, coke. First you put the, the coke, then the ice. It doesn't no matter what you do first, no? Not Shabbat. Not true. Do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Ice first, coke first, ochamo first, whatever you want. <laughs> Can you put the uh, hot water on ice? <laughs> yes. Hot water on ice. 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 Like if you know, if you want to make ice coffee, you take the ice and you put the hot yeah, the coffee on top of the ice. That's how you do. Yeah, that's the right way to do it. That's how people do it. So it's it's chaya, chaya Biryot, 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 here is the ice, here is the liquid. Flicking fish, oh, that's a problem. But whenever it gets mixed with the drink, like Coca-Cola, no problem. I showed him right now. You're allowed to put it inside the cup. Inside the cup. The right. order doesn't matter. Doesn't matter which order. Should one do... But, but, here is, uh, listen to this. When it could be matter, make a difference. If you're gonna pour from samavar directly on the ice, this will be a problem because of cooking issue. Clearly shown, you cannot boom directly hit something on the with it. Bottom wins. It's machloket. Bottom one wins or the top one wins. And with Barman concluded, it's the bottom one wins. We say. Whenever it's the majority of whatever you have, you have a 10 ounce cup, majority six ounces of cold water, then the hot water on top is not going to cook the cool water. But if you have a little bit on the bottom, then we don't say that the bottom one wins because you see that the bottom one was cold and the end 10 ounces of cup is going to be very hot. So, how do you say the bottom one wins? What well, fact that the top one is hot right now, the whole cup is hot. So the post can say we only said the bottom one wins whenever the majority, the bigger quantity, is the bottom. the bottom. Yes. Got it? Very good. Number four, right? Uh Chaim, have you had a question? Bar soap, is that also okay? Bar soap, Rabbi Yosef concluded it's okay. Because it's also melting with the water. Even though that's one good answer, because it gets melted with the with the water. And he also says an interesting thing. It says bar soap does not melt. It's it's a foaming. Yeah, it's foaming. Yeah. Yes. It's not like I take a bar soap, yeah. uh, squeeze it, and liquids come out of it. Exactly. No. Mila. So because of that, it says it says bottom line. Bottom line. That's what's called. That's Bottom line, it says you could be lenient with soap, bar soap, but it's not the best. It's debatable. If you want to be strict, better to be strict, but not obligated. Bechor already knows. In Judaism, we have obligation, and we have better thing to do. So this is better thing to do. If Bechor goes to his relative, and the only available soap, after Bechor ate shashlik, uh, how do you call this thing? Oshpolo, Adasim, huh? Then he needs to wash his hands with soap. And the only available soap is bar soap. What Bechor is doing? Washing with the bar. He's going to wash with the bar. So. Fun. It's cool. Yes, you know. No. Got it? Next. I used to have a student, Bechor, who used to come to the class, used to take a video. I said, why take a video? He says, every time I come out of the house, my wife thinks I go to the Kudat. I prove her. I don't go. I go to the rabbi. I don't go. <laughs> Here's my proof. Here's my proof. <laughs> I said, listen, when you come in, you take a video. When you come out, you also have to take a video. Because who knows until when you stayed here. Wow. Number four, should one be concerned regarding softening the skin due to smearing? The three, number three has to be added, changed. Change? What? Because it's not, I'm sure smearing fat on the body is only a problem because of no lot. What's no lad? Ah, so I write, yeah, I, I added this. I, I added, no lad is created, means okay. it's restricted to change the form of matter from solid to liquid. Ah, okay, very good. Very good. Yes, very good. Very good.
One should be shouldn't be concerned regarding softening the skins due to smearing. Very good. That's it. Yeah. That's the answer. We don't we don't have to be concerned. Okay. Number five. Do the laws of evening out of evening? Evening out. Evening out. Oh, evening. Uh, is that is that the right way to say evening? Evening. Huh? To, um, to even out. Loot, lo, laws of. No, laws two of. ends. Two ends. That's why. Right. You're missing one end. Evening. Evening. Because it's like evening. evening uh, Rudy, two number ends. five. Is it the right way of saying evening out? No, no it's missing number an five. N. Missing an N. E V E N N I N. Those are colors that come Of course. Yeah, now I believe you also. There's two ends, right? Even ink. There's three ends. No, I know. I'm talking about All together. Here. All together. E V E N N I N G. Because one. evening means. Uh, I, you said we were wrong. You give me a red line. Bajonam Zana Bobo. Pass my friend Google. To even laws of to even out. I'm going to tell you the <laughs> Who should I believe now? <laughs> to even, uh, maybe right. Oh, to, to even out laws. Top, continue. Oh, to even out is good about it. Yeah. To yeah. even to out even laws. Out. To even out. Do the laws. Do uh, to laws of. No. Do to. Do. Do to even out laws. Come no, on. No, no, no. Do the laws of. What is what's the next? What's the Here, next? read, read. Number five. <laughs> Does the law of even out, does the law of even out apply? Does, does the law of even out, no, even out with a hyphen, even dash out. It's like a one word. Does the law of even out like to, to even, even out. evening out? Okay, or smearing apply to Does the law of even human out? body? But you said you know, right, you know? Let's is, see. Or evening out. Like the laws of again. evening out or smearing don't apply to a human body, according to me, with me here. So what's the problem then? So what's the problem smearing with our thing then? According to me, with me here, he holds this way. But he says the follow. law of smearing doesn't apply to a human being. But we don't follow. Yeah, but we don't. We in don't practice, we just. In practice. Should we put that we don't follow this law? Mm -hmm. so according to him, even if it remains, it's okay. Human. In practice, human. we don't hold like him. Oh, this has to be like. Okay. Practice, we don't. You get to see me, I just was this. Yeah. But we just combine his opinion to other opinions. To be more lenient. To be more. Lenient. So, so it sounds like if somebody will do it, do not do not go on. Do not tell him anything. Arabic. If somebody does it? Yeah. Ah, uh, with just one opinion, you cannot rely like this. No. It, it must but you be. could combine for Sfekot. Let's finish it off, Rabotai, number six, and we'll do Shalom Bay. Is detaching a feather from a chicken allowed on Shabbat? Is there such a thing? From whatever is written on Shabbat 74b, that whoever removes a feather from the chicken violates the laws of evening out. How is that? Because the skin has a bump right now. It doesn't have a bump of that feather. One could derive from here that the laws of evening out apply to a live animal and a live person. Also from here, we learn that's a good, that it applies for a live person. Right. However, because of the chicken. However, the case of the Gemara applies regarding a dead chicken, but not a live one. So, so not to a live one, one. one, it does not. But to a live one, it does not apply in past. So one you can take the live may one pluck its feathers on Shabbat. Wow, that's a hidush, Rabbi. Not from a live one, from a dead one. No, it says on the other way around. Shorash. 
Are they remarkable? Ah, plus regarding a dead chicken. So, you understand what you read? Yes. But it's not. So, plus to the... Hold on. But to a live one, it does not apply. However, the Gemara or the Gemara applies. To a live one, you cannot take it out. You cannot take it out. But that one is okay. You cannot take it out for a different reason. Not because of evening out. The laws of evening out does not apply to a live person. The laws of evening out does not apply to a live entity, person, chicken, chicken, does not. Does not. That's what we see. It showed us. From whatever is written in Shabbat 74, it seems that who, whoever removes a feather from the chicken violates the laws of evening out. So what do we say? In truth, the case of the Gemara applies to regarding a dead chicken. Only then the laws of evening out applies. Whenever it is a dead chicken, but to a live chicken, to a live person, the laws of evening out does not apply. So that's what I'm saying. So if you have a uh, live chicken... They can pull out the feather from you, her. For that reason, yes. But you have other reasons why you cannot. Mukte, right. causing her pain, make her bleed. Right. Rabotai, Shabbat is not one law. Right. You have 39 laws you have to deal with. So why would you even put that there? To tell you as a support to the Bet Meir. What did Bet Meir said? That the laws of evening out does not apply to a human being. Right. Ah, but the Gemara said it applies to a chicken. So what's the difference between a human being and a chicken? So Rav Yosef says, no, the Gemara spoke about chicken when it's dead. Then the laws of evening out applies. But to a live one, the laws of evening out does not apply one. Does not apply. The difference between a live and a dead is because there are other laws regarding a live person that would you to be in my pocket. The live person, the laws of evening out does not apply. Sure. But what's the distinction between live and, uh, and but Rabbi, dead? Because there's the, other laws. In parentheses, actually. you should put. I think in there parentheses might, might you should put. There might be other laws that will prohibit to, you know, to, to do that. Uh-huh. Okay, let's go. Shalom, bye. Because I, then I, people I will it. think that when it's alive, it's allowed. Good, good point. Good you point. Understand? I'm bringing it in. However, Rabbi, shalom, bye. Quickly, tell me before. It's not true, Rabotai. I, I don't want you to think this way. This is not right. That's not the right mentality. Uh, Rabbi, what's the point of learning Shalom Bait? She's always right, and that's it. That's not the right. You have way. to know why she's right. <laughs> it's not. We're not. We're not talking even about that she's right. Rabotai, did we even hear one time that she's right? No, we read that. 90 pages of this book. This one time the rabbi said, your wife is always right? No, he never said that. Yes, why not? No. Did the rabbi say that one time? No. He said that she's a woman. So why are you making it up? <laughs> not one time. 90 pages we're reading. You have to respect your wife. Respect. They didn't say she's always you right. You have to make sure that all the, your bracha is coming from her. We you say have that. to give her the time. So priority. She's right. No. Bottom line. That's not true. No, I'm sorry to tell you. You are wrong. Bottom line, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. Don't say things that he didn't say. Continue. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, turn off the recording, please. Uh, can you please turn off this recording?